Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Inside the Mind where we break down the guitar sounds of our latest album, Electric Mind. In the first two videos, you heard us break down the sounds of HCBM and Parallel. If you haven't watched those, please go do so. And in this episode, we're going to be breaking down the sounds of Spectre. So let's get into it. Now, my parts on Spectre were very simple. I stuck to a lot of the core rhythm sounds, just a lot of the heavy picking, um, really emphasis on the ones, and a lot of the raking sounds that you'll hear um, behind Chris's parts. Um, to accomplish that, I used the 1958 Gibson Les Paul Jr. Uh, with P90 pickups. We ran that through a Marshall Plexi. I believe it was a 1973 um, Marshall JMP 50 watt head, and that was going through a 1982 uh, Marshall 4x12 cabinet, um, one of the, the white special edition cabinets that you'll see here. Uh, and to create a nice facsimile of that sound here in my studio, I'm going to be using this 1991 uh, Gibson SG Junior. Um, with the P90 pickups, we're gonna be able to get pretty close to that sound that we had on the record. And I'm going to be plugging into this Buddha um, Superdrive 18 watt combo amp that does a really good job of getting a plexi tone when it's dialed in in a certain way. And as always, all my guitar sounds are running through the Universal Audio Ox. Um, and in this case, we are going to be emulating the sound of that Marshall 412 cabinet recorded into Logic. <laughs> So that's it for my parts, let's kick it over to Chris to get into more of his parts. So Spectre begins with a jangly, kind of dissonant arpeggio, and that is played on a vintage Gretsch hollow body guitar, going into my favorite, as always, uh, amplifier, the Vox AC-15. That is one of the few recordings that we actually got live while we were doing basic tracking. Uh, the tone was just so good that we ran with it. Uh, so once again, that's just a clean, hollow body, a little bit of tremolo into a Vox AC-15. Now since I don't have access to that 1967 Gretsch Country Club model, I will be using my trusty Epiphone Casino Coupe. Uh, this is a fully hollow guitar, so a nice substitution to give you an idea. And then when it gets to the chorus, uh, I simply kick on my overdrive pedal. My go-to overdrive pedal is gonna be an Arc FX clone pedal, clone with a K. It is actually a clone clone, if you're familiar with those sought after overdrives. And once again, it's just that guitar into the overdrive, into the amp. Most noticeable overdubs on Spectre is going to be the kind of theremin sounding uh, effect and a lot of people mistake it for a keyboard that actually is a guitar. Um, we used 
1984 Bernie Les Paul Custom. Had that going into a Marshall JCM 800. And uh, we had it going through a particular pedal. It is a uh, PSHC Pedals uh, Theremin pedal. And uh, really kind of wacky pedal. It's really hard to tame. It took us about 30 takes to get it. But uh, it works kind of like an Evo where you don't really need to pick the note at all. And it just follows your fretting hand. There's also an acoustic guitar overdub that you'll hear primarily in the second verse and it kind of follows the strumming pattern of the chorus guitars and that was accomplished with a Yamaha acoustic guitar. Now once again, since I do not have access to that 1970 Yamaha FG300, I will be using my Martin D28 in its place. Now for the solo section, we used a 1974 Greco SA500, which is a fully hollow guitar. We plugged that into a 1965 Fender Deluxe, and we had it going through a UREI Vintage EQ. Uh, kind of pushed the amp right to the edge breakup in the best way possible. Really, really sweet spot. And uh, yeah, very simply, it's a finger-picked slide guitar solo. I'm using a brass slide to be exact. So there you have it guys, that's how we get the sounds on Spectre. Um, be sure to like and subscribe to the video if you like what we're doing here. Um, and be sure to stay tuned for our next episode where we cover the guitar sounds on the Rome.